Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. Grace and peace be unto you. From God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, bless, like, and share that the voice of the prophet is on. Tell everybody about it. Do the work of evangelists. We're going to talk about the Godhead, Jesus Christ, on, on the Godhead bodily. Mm -hmm. The scriptures state that the fullness of the Godhead dwells bodily in the Son. And we did that. And um, we read Colossians 1.19. In Colossians 2 19 the Lord Jesus Christ is the visible and bodily re revelation of the Godhead he is the visible manifest of the invisible persons of God and the mystery of the God, God um, godliness God manifests right God manifests in the flesh you see that right God did what manifest God showed up in the earth realm God showed up in earth in the person of Jesus Christ. He showed up, you know? And many people may have problems with that statement because they don't believe in it and they don't think it's real. But God is real. And you have to keep telling yourself, God showed up in the flesh. God showed up in the flesh. God showed up. He revealed himself. He revealed himself in the flesh. Um, that's First Timothy 3.16. We read it before. But the Bible shows that the, the Father and the Holy Spirit dwell in the Son. The Father mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit dwell in the Son. Amen? Um, we're going to take a look. Um, the Father and dwelt the Son in John 14, 18. Right? Let's, let's go to John 14. Let's go there. We, we were in it, but we're going to... Recap, John, John 14, 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I, I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But you see me because I live. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. So this is right after, um, before the crucifixion. He said, you're not going to see me no more. But what Jesus is saying, just because you don't see him no more, doesn't mean I'm not alive. Right? It doesn't mean because you don't see me, right? I'm not alive. Just like my mother passed away, mm -hmm. physically. Mm -hmm. But she's not dead. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't see somebody, mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're not alive. Mm -hmm. They're alive somewhere. Amen. Either in heaven, right? Or in hell. Right? They're alive somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, um, Jesus, we know where Jesus is at. Jesus is not missing. Mm -hmm. He's in heaven with the Father. So, he said, Yet a little while in the world seeth me no more. But you see me because I live. You shall live also. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, at that day, you shall know that I'm in my Father. You see that, right? I'm in my Father. He's in the Father. And you and me, and I and you. So who's in? So when the Holy Spirit come on you, guess who's in you? Jesus. Mm -hmm. he, he's in you too. Amen? So we should know as body of believers and really understand that concept so we can live the life that God wants us to live. We're not helpless in this world. I'm talking to the body of believers. We're not helpless. We can't live and do and, and run our lives as if a, our God don't exist. He only exists on Sundays. He exists every day. He's not only in the church. He's in you. You are the temple that come to church. Wherever you go, whatever you do, you're taking Jesus Christ with you. Mm -hmm. You understand that? He's in the air that we breathe. Yes, Lord. He's in everything in existence. Because the Bible says everything that lives, everything that has its being is in Him. Yes, Lord. We, you know, even the things or the people that don't believe in Him, mm -hmm. He keeping them by His power. Yes, Lord. Even if they're aware of it or not. Mm -hmm. Now, 
There's no separation between you and you, you and God. There's no separation between you and Jesus. That's why you got to get this through your head and have no fear in this world and have no fear about anything men can do unto you. No matter what happened, God got us. You can't get afraid of what you can't see, but you have more faith and say, God, I live for you. We, you know that when you leave this body, you don't die. So there shouldn't be no fear of death. When you leave this physical body and, and no, no death, you don't, you ain't dying. Amen. Amen. He said, you have eternal life. He said, because I live, you live. Yes, Lord. Glory. Amen. And this is why it's important to get God in people. Mm -hmm. So when they leave this physical body, they're going to live somewhere. Mm -hmm. But they're going to live apart, yes, you, know, you know, from God. True hell is separation from God. Mm -hmm. Death is separation from God. Amen. But to us who are not separated, we'll never die. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus said, now you have eternal life. Mm -hmm. So death is separation, not separation from your body alone. See, when you separate from your body here, people say you're, you're dead. Mm -hmm. But true death is separation from God. But, but you have eternal life right now. Mm -hmm. Right now where you are, you got eternal life of God inside of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, he that have my commandments and keepeth them, it is he that loveth me. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. If you loving God is not tithing. You loving God is not mm -hmm. coming to church. You, you loving God is not putting some worship music and, and trying to act like you sway back and forth like a willow tree and trying to say that, oh, oh, I love him. No, you loving God is doing what he told you yes. to do. That's love. You understand that? Forget people saying, oh, I love you, I love you. Forget you, you saying, man, that's, sens that's sentimental, emotional stuff. True love is obedience. True love is doing what I tell you to do. When you do it, you love me. Amen. So, um, now, he that have my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me should be love of what? Of my father. And I will love him and will do what? Manifest myself to him. Right? Now, Judas said unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and unto the world? Jesus answered unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him he that loveth me not keepeth not my saying mm. and the words we shall hear is not mine but the father which has sent me you see that right mm -hmm. these things have i spoken to you be being yet present with you but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father was sent in my name he should teach you all things and bring all things to remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you peace i leave you Right? My peace I give to you. Not as the world giveth. See, the world got a peace. Mm -hmm. A lot of us is looking for the world peace. What is the world peace? Success, money, houses, car, mm -hmm. woman, six, you know, uh, um, a feeling. That's the, the peace. But we want the peace of God. Mm -hmm. The peace of God is a peace mm -hmm. that doesn't change despite what's going on in your life. Amen. You, you're not swayed by it. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Why is it their heart not going to be troubled or be afraid? Because of the peace of God. Yes, Lord. When something happens, guess what's going to happen? It ain't going to bother them. Yes. Now, um, the peace of God. Now, now uh, all that Jesus said and did was by the fathers and dwelling. He could say that when we saw him, we saw the Father. Mm. However, he never said he was the Father. He was one with the Father, although the Father dwelt in him. Yet, he prayed to the Father in heaven in John 17, 1 to 3. See, the Father was in him, mm -hmm. but he was not the Father. Yes, 
Amen? Amen. So he was the son doing the perfect will of God. The Holy Spirit dwelt in him. That's John chapter 3, verse 33 to 34. Jesus received the Holy Spirit without measure. Jesus never said he was the Holy Spirit. We have to recognize that the Son is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Mm -hmm. All right? It must be recognized that the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father, nor the Holy Spirit, the Son, or the Father. The Father is eternally the Father. The Son is eternally the Son. The Holy Spirit is eternally the Holy Spirit. The Scripture declare that dual, that dual truth, that Jesus is the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and, and yet the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are, are, are three eternal, right, Dis, distinct, distinguishable, but indivisible. They all want. Let me tell you something. You'll never really fully understand the Trinity of God. Mm. You could, but what that says, all three of them was in total agreement mm. coming to earth to redeem mankind yes, Lord, from his sin. Mm. Now, what it teaches you this, you are so loved. You are so loved by God. You are so loved. You are so loved. Let me tell you something. The whole universe is, is jealous of mankind. How can God, you know, other gods, they kill other people. But this God died for you and you alone. How can you neglect so great of salvation? Mm. Let me tell you, I can truly tell you this, right? God hates sin. God hates sin, right? With, with everything, he, and he cannot deal with it. But let me tell you something. He loved you so much that he made a way. For God so loved the world that he gave mm. his only begotten son. Whosoever believed in him should not perish but have eternal life. So yes, he hates sin. Mm -hmm. But guess what happened? He made a way for the sinner to come to him. Yes, Lord. He hates sin. He'll judge sin. But you don't have to be judged today. And I don't care what habits you have. I don't care which one. See, the only problem you're going to have is when you tell God, I'm good the way I am. I'm happy the way I am. And maybe this message is not for you if you're happy the way you are. Okay, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, that's between you and God. But for those of us who, who are in the point of change and you are in the point of suicide and, uh, and, and you are tormented in mind and you are tormented in spirit and you are tormented in your soul, Jesus, the man God, came on this planet for you. Thank yes, Lord. you. Hallelujah. He saw you in your pain, in your hurt. Those who are confused mentally, confused physically, confused in every way. I don't care what you are. Um, if you are transgender, um, you don't understand who you are inside, God died for you. And he will show you your identity. I don't care if you are homosexual, he died for you. So he can show you who you, who you really are, that you're a spirit. Mm -hmm. And he can deliver you. He can set you free. I don't care if you're a lesbian. He will show you your identity and who and what you are. God has made a way for you. God doesn't hate you. He hates sin. He has to. A righteous God have to hate sin. Amen. But he made a way for you. He made a way. The gospel of Jesus Christ is for you. The gospel of Jesus Christ is for the pedophile. You, you may be watching and you like little kids and you don't know how to be free. And you may be even in the church or in the world and you don't know how to get rid of it. But Jesus, the man God, yes, Jesus. Jesus, the very God of the very God, he has the power to set you free. Let me tell you something. You can be having all the traumas of growing up. You have trauma, sexual abuse, mental abuse, psychological abuse, um, physical abuse, and all kind of abuse mm -hmm. that you've been through in your life. Oh, you feel you, you've been used and abused by men. You could be a prostitute, a crackhead, a drug user. Whatever that you are, Jesus died for you today. Jesus 
sent his son on the cross for you. God himself came on the cross to die for you. Neglect not so great a salvation. Neglect not this very God. And let me tell you something. You can be in church and you're struggling. And you're struggling with pornography. And you're struggling with sexual sin and sexual immorality. God has the power to set you free. If you can come to him and be honest to God and be saying to God, I can't do it on my own. I still got, I love you, God, but I still got some sins and I still got some struggle. He has the power because he's the fullness of the Godhead in one person. And my God, God came in the flesh, in this earth to say he loves you. He cares about you and he died for you. Come unto him. And let me tell you something. There's no other religion. Allah can save you. Buddha can save you. Confucius can save you. Um, having intelligence and knowledge cannot save you. Salvation come only to one person. And his name is Jesus Christ. Yeshua, Yamashia, The son of the living God. And if you call upon his name, he has power. If you can't sleep, you are tormented by demons and spirits and all kinds of things. If you are bipolar and you try to kill yourself, you're all kind of torment. He has the power to set you free and to make you whole today. In Jesus' name, he has the power. If you want to know him, the Bible said that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus will be saved. With the mouth, confession is made with the heart. We believe into salvation. So repeat after me, say, Jesus, you sent into your word. Say it in your word. If I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart, the Lord Jesus, I shall be saved. Say, Jesus, I believe that you are God, that you died for me. I repent of my sins. I let it go, God. I'm wrong for the way I've been living. I'm wrong for the way I've been thinking. I repent of my sin. I turn away from it. I turn away from it, God. Deliver me from them. I don't want it. I laid on the ground. I laid on the ground like that man put all the witchcraft things on the ground and burn it. I burn my sins on the altar. Take out my sins. Take out my wrong. Take out, oh God, my iniquities and the sin that's inside my soul and my spirit. Cleanse me and purify me to the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. I lay down my sin. I don't want them, God. I don't want them. I choose you. I choose you. I choose you over my, des my desire, my addictions, my things that's in my heart. I choose you and you alone, God. I choose you. I repent from my sins. And now, God, I turn to you, the true and living God. Thank you for saving me, soul, spirit, and body. I recognize that you are the Lord and Savior, the one who died, raised in the third day, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the very God of the very God, who the one who is eternally Savior, save me completely and fully and wholly God in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus. We give you the praise and now say to God, Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with power. Sanctify me. Purify me. Let me live for you. Let the Holy Spirit indwell me where sin and filthiness was in me. Cleanse me. Wash me. But fill me. Let the Holy Spirit take the place of me completely and otherly. Holy Spirit, have your will and have your way in me. In Jesus' matchless name. We pray the power of the Holy Spirit begin to touch those who are hearing these words right now. That every demon who holds you, every spirit that holds you, every demonic forces of this world, every sons of God that comes into the environment of where you dwell, that trying to torment your life, your home, your family, your gene, my, my, my God, your, 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 your family line. We break it in the name of the Lord Jesus. We apply the blood. Be set free right now in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus. Be set free right now in the name of, of Yeshua, Yamashia. Be set free. We break the fetters of iron and the stronghold, the bounds of the enemy mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Be set free right now in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. Find a good church home that teaches the word. Find, find a church that's full of the spirit that can break bondage and be set free in this time, in this age, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And God, we, we thank you. We pray for all men everywhere. We pray that this word will go to every nation, every culture, everyone may hear the word and be free. In Jesus' match, matchless name. Um, today is giving Friday. I pray that you're able to give today. Mount Zion, one, uh, 133. Um, um, 
um, a man, 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 man sign, well, cash at man sign 133 or man sign, uh, or, or email Rene50 at cash app or man sign 133. You can give to those things. Everything that you'll give will go into the furtherance of this gospel to bring forth the word to you, to help us to do, bring, um, do a better work. So that's why we asking. We're not begging, but we asking so that we can bring a better product to you and help the work of the ministry. Amen. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Rene. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. Go to church on Sunday. People in Zion, fill up. Do the work of the evangelists. Fill up the church. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord.